Welcome to Herbrooks. We've been a family owned and operated business since the 1920s and we're thrilled that you've decided to join our family. You'll probably notice there are quite a few people with the name Herbrook who work here, but no matter what your last name is, once you join our team, we've got your back. Because we care about everyone here, like we care about our own family. And the chickens and eggs might not be people, but we definitely care about them too. You like me? You really like me? Uh, yep. Hi, chicken. Hi, human. You're actually a little early. I, I've got a couple more things to say. We both know you can leave faster than that. We really do care about the littlest chicks and the people who tend to them just as much as we care about their eggs and the people sorting and sending them off to stores. The fact is, we don't get eggs without chickens, and we don't get healthy eggs and happy chickens without people like you. That's right! Talking about you! You, you, you! <clears throat> we know that sometimes a job can feel like just a job, but we'd like to challenge you... You! 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 Right, yep. Um, we'd like to challenge you to consider, what if you really cared about this job? What if you decided to really care about the lives of the animals you're entrusted with? And to care about the fact that the work you do helps bring nature's perfect food into people's homes. I make nature's perfect food! Wait, what's food? Uh, don't worry about it. No matter what role you're in here at Herbrooks, we hope you'll care about the work you do. Now, the purpose of this video is to give you a sense of how your work fits into the larger picture of what's happening at Herbrooks. Because we believe that when you understand just how important everyone's job is, you'll value your own work that much more. And you'll feel better about doing it. Now, when we say that we can't do this without you, we mean it. They get it. You totally get it, right? Can we start the tour now? Uh, yes. Actually, first, do you want to give them the short version of the whole what's the difference between a chicken, a hen, and a rooster talk? Sure! A hen is a female chicken, and a rooster is a male chicken. When chickens are young, it can be hard to tell a hen from a rooster, but around here, the rules are pretty rigid. No roosters. Herbrooks is definitely a hen party. Am, am I a hen or a rooster? I have no idea. Trick question, I'm a cartoon. Yep, you got me. Uh, time for some Herbrooks history. Now, of course, Herbrooks wasn't always what you see today. The Herbrook family has been in the egg business since the 1920s, when Harry Herbrook Sr. started an egg delivery company in the Flint, Michigan area. As his business grew, so did his delivery territory. He wholesaled the eggs from Flint to Saginaw to Detroit. The eggs were a hit, but his son Harry Herbrook Jr. joined the business, and in the late 1950s, decided he couldn't just deliver someone else's eggs. He needed to start producing his own eggs. He bought an egg farm in Saranac, Michigan, which would become Herbrook's Poultry Ranch. And while it's still a family-owned and operated business, what began as a farm with 6,000 hens now has over 10 million. But even though the company has grown exponentially, it is just as committed to doing what's right. For the hens, for the employees, for the consumers, for the community, and for the earth. Could I work at Herbrook's? Well, lots of chickens do. And of course, millions of their eggs do too. Herbrooks now produces almost 3 billion eggs every year. It's probably hard to wrap your head around just how that works, especially if Herbrooks is going to be committed to taking good care of each and every bird. And we are. Around here, people like to say, we serve the bird. And I can personally tell you that's true. Every decision made, they always ask, how will this affect the birds? We're not divas. We just like to be treated well. No one thinks you're a diva. Good, because I am a chicken. Cartoon chicken. Bah, bah. But around here, you're saying that I'm a bit of a celebrity? Well, not a celebrity exactly, but you are in a place where people care about your health and happiness. Let's go over to where you probably should be right now. Where are all my sisters? Right now, the service crew is cleaning this barn, getting it all ready for a new batch of chicks to come and make this place their home. They clean up the mess you chicks make, wash it down, and make sure the place is ready. Oh, looks like they're about to take delivery. Look at all my good-looking sisters. Well, I'm glad you can tell the difference because they look a lot the same to me. Each of these chicks will grow up to be a hen and lay eggs. Now, what are those people doing? Those are some of the flock service crew. They're the people who make sure that each chick has food and water. 
These people make sure that each bird is vaccinated against diseases and that your house is clean. And if you do get sick, they move you into a special pen and give you extra care and attention. And this isn't just during the day. Even at night, they check to make sure that you're at the right temperature and doing well. Why don't you go join your sisters? No, I'm going to stick around with you. This is too much fun. Okay, yeah, stick with me. When the chicks get a little older, they are called a pullet. A pullet is a chicken before it starts to lay eggs, which lasts about the first 16 weeks of its life. I'm sorry, but that's an ugly chicken. It's an awkward time. There's no way I ever looked like that. Well, you would have looked more like this. Because I'm a cartoon? Got it. Change me back. Now, pullets are not quite ready to lay eggs yet, but they do make their presence known in other ways. Oh, kids these days, am I right? Chicken manure can be a big challenge, so much so that people didn't want to live by chicken farms because of the smell. But a few years back, Herbrooks came up with an innovative system to dry the droppings and then use belts and conveyors to move and collect the manure without disturbing the birds. And then it gets made into fertilizer pellets that are sold to other farms. Wait, they figured out how to sell it? Yep. So something that used to be a big mess is now sold? That's right. Very clever. The neighbors like it too. And while it was a big investment of time and resources to develop the system, it's something that sets Herbrooks apart from other farms. Nowadays, because most of the smell is gone, you can drive by Herbrooks and not even know there are millions of chickens living here. At Herbrooks, we are always looking for new ways to improve. And not just our business, but the lives of our chickens as well. For example, at the Herbrooks Green Meadow Organic Farm, there are even special heated floors that clean the birds' feet. The chickens here have outdoor access and they get fully organic feed. So that's where the divas live. That it is. We believe that healthy chickens are good for business, but it's also the right thing to do. It will come as no surprise to you that millions of chickens require a lot of food and water. So let's take a quick trip to our feed mill. Good, because I'm hungry. What exactly do cartoon chickens eat? Well, one good thing about being a cartoon is that I can eat whatever cartoon thing I want. Normal chicken stuff, normal people stuff, or totally ridiculous stuff. That might be true for cartoon chickens, but the people at Herbrooks don't just let their chickens eat whatever they want. It might look like an all-you-can-eat buffet, but it's actually a combination of regular or organic grains that are mixed together in just the right amounts to give them the proper nutrition so they can grow and be healthy. All of this is just a lead up to the eggs, right? They're the star of the show. I mean, I'm a great looking chicken, but even the Herbrooks logo is an egg. So why haven't we gotten to the eggs yet? Well, I wanted to show the people all that it takes to set up and run an egg farm of this scale. Because again, you don't get great eggs without great chickens. There's the feed and the care, but also the cleaning and housing and maintenance. Ugh, come on, let's see some eggs already. You're right, let's talk about eggs. And for that, we have to visit the Herbrooks Processing Center. We could walk over there, but let's travel the same way the eggs do. Conveyor. <laughs> Did you know that each chicken lays one egg each day? Every day? If they're healthy and happy and everything is going according to plan, then yes, every day. Including weekends? Every day. Christmas? Every day. Labor Day? Fourth of July? Arbor Day? Yes, 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 because those are all days too. Most of the eggs come directly from Herbrooks Farms, but we also contract with about 70 family farms in Indiana. Each of these farms have about 25,000 hens, and their eggs are collected and brought to Michigan for processing. Not only does this help with our normal production, but it gives us the ability to make some specialty high-value eggs. It also gives these families an opportunity to support themselves and operate their own small businesses. That's a lot of eggs. Oh, you haven't seen anything yet. So hold on to your hen hat. Because like I said, most of Herbrook's eggs come from right here. Herbrook's processes close to 6 million eggs every single day. To handle that, 
Herbrux uses a combination of the right technology and the right people. Together, they inspect, clean, and test each egg for cracks or other imperfections. That's some quality control. Other machines weigh and measure each egg so that it can be sold in different sizes. Robots are taking over the world! No, no, no. These robots or machines are tools. Complicated tools, but they are still operated by people. And these incredibly important people are needed to load the cartons, organize, and quality control everything that comes off these machines. In the processing center, it might look like eggs and cartons and boxes are just moving all over the place, but it's actually a beautiful, well-choreographed dance. Oh, spare me. Once the eggs are all processed, they need to keep moving on their journey. This is where all the boxes and packages of eggs get loaded up. The boxes of eggs get wrapped together and organized to make sure the right eggs get to the right store. It's a big job, and the people who do it need to be careful and organized. Seems simple to me, and I don't even have hands. Just load the trucks and out they go. It might seem that way to the uninitiated, but some stores want full boxes, some want partial boxes, and some stores only want certain kinds or brands of eggs. As the forklifts drive around the warehouse, there is a tremendous amount of logistics involved. Logistics? What's that? It's a big word that means details, that there's a lot to keep track of. Well, just say that next time. Anyway, the eggs are driven by drivers. Redundant! Cartoon Chicken doesn't know logistics, but knows the word redundant? Uh, yes, fair enough. The drivers travel all over the United States, making sure that these eggs arrive uncracked and ready to be eaten. If everything is running smoothly, the whole process, from the time the egg is laid to the time it arrives in the store, might be just 24 hours. Mind blown! It really is pretty incredible. But I've got one more thing to show you. There are trucks going in and out of Herbrooks all the time. One might drop off cardboard boxes or cartons for the eggs, or maybe we'll get a shipment of eggs from Indiana, or pullets, or any number of things. But some parts of Herbrooks are biosecure. It is serious business, and the proud members of our security staff make sure that everything is biosecure. They check in all the trucks and cars and make sure people know where they are going. But they also might need to disinfect someone's feet or car pedals to make sure they don't carry in some kind of microscopic organism that could harm the chickens. There are even more protocols that workers need to follow to keep the various facilities safe. Right, right, right. Because it's all about the bird. Serve the bird. That's right. We serve the bird. Now you've got it. And all of these precautions are to make sure the birds are healthy, that the people who work at Herbrooks feel proud of their work, and that when the eggs arrive at the stores and ultimately people's homes, they are getting a quality, nutritious, and tasty egg. Wow! I never knew it took so many people to serve the bird so well. And you haven't even seen all of them. In fact, there are a lot of people behind the scenes. Because just as there are people serving the bird, there are people serving people. There are people serving machines and computers, too. Yep, the robot overlords will rule us all. Uh, no, I was just talking about the IT department. I knew that. There are also people who tell other people about our wonderful eggs and sell those eggs to the stores, restaurants, and other places who need them. Plus, there are people who make all the pieces of the company fit together and keep them running smoothly. There are even people who make sure all the numbers add up and the bills get paid. Show me the money! And how would a cartoon chicken know what to do with money? I would! Really, what would you do? I would take it to the Coop, the Herbrooks Company store, where you can get swag! You know, a t-shirt, mug, jackets, hats, or other things that show the world you work at a wonderful place that serves the bird, takes care of its employees, and strives to be a good neighbor. Well, I was wrong. That is a good idea. Thanks for hanging out with me today. The pleasure was all mine. What do I do now? I think since you're a cartoon chicken, you can go pretty much anywhere you want. Oh, that's right. Then I'm going to Indiana. Thanks for taking the time to understand how your work fits within all the work that's being done here at Herbrooks. Our hope is that you feel proud of the work that you do, that you feel part of something that's bigger than any one person. Eggs are our business. They're great for baking cakes and cookies and all kinds of great tasting things. 
but they are also an important source of protein and nutrition for many people. We are proud that Herbrooks helps keep our community strong and healthy, and we're happy that you are part of our family.